Well, Happy New Year and welcome to another one of Wally's Weekend Drives. 2023 is going to be exciting for sure. Starting off right out of the gate here, a 2022, I might say, the Mercedes EQB 300 4Matic SUV. To break that down into layman's terms, this is a fully electric all-wheel drive SUV capable of doing about 200 miles in range. Um, not enough for me personally, but it might be enough for you if you live in a small town or you don't have a lot going on. Another thing that you want to hit with this is you want to make sure that you plug this in every night because it takes a long time to charge it unless you got the super duper charger. And I think those are running about $5,000 to have them installed in your house. So if you're going to use electric power, just regular 110 or 115 like we have in our homes, uh, it takes about 24, 25 hours to charge this thing up. So just know that. One thing that for sure, we look underneath the hood here, you don't see a conventional motor at all. There's a full electric motor underneath there, making 225 horsepower and 288 foot-pounds of torque. Now, if you look at that and you go, hey, that really doesn't seem like a whole lot. This is a big car. Remember, no transmission, direct torque right to these 19-inch alloy wheels here. This thing is plenty fast. In fact, if you close your eyes, well, actually, if you don't want to close your eyes when you're driving, but if you would, would imagine, you can't tell the difference between electric and gas when it comes to this Mercedes. Right down to the every one of the accoutrements that you have here from a safety standpoint, whether it be the electric mirrors here, the blind spot control, or if you look inside here, Aaron, one of the things that we really like is this full leather interior and Mercedes is quite proud of this, has 64 ambient color choices for your lighting inside. So no matter what your mood is, you can match the mood with your ambient lighting. Now, full leather interior, power front seats with memory and heated and controlled right there too from the center stack. And if you look around, you're gonna see a natural grain brown walnut wood trim also. So between the smart steering wheel with all the controls, the shifter on the right hand side, Basically neutral, park, drive, and reverse is all you got on this. So it's really simple to drive. One foot on it, no problem, you could do that. You know, what you do have is the paddle shifters here on there. Like I said, it doesn't have a tr uh, transmission. It's basically just a rheostat. But the, the shifters on this control the amount of regenerative braking that you have. So if you click on the right one, it disappears, you more freewheel. If you click on the left one, it's gonna drag you down, but at the same time it's dragging you down, it's charging the batteries through the wheels. Now, if we take a quick look inside here in the back, being totally electric, what else would you find but a 115 volt plug-in back there for your passengers? I think it's a great idea. You know, everybody nowadays has some type of media that needs to be charged or plugged in to operate. So this takes care of the kids, you know, as far as their DVD players or whatever going down the road. And then you do have USB-C uh, charging points throughout the vehicle too. Let's take a look at the back here. See, you still see the full LED lighting. So I really like this, very visible at night. Again, EQB 300 right there, easy to see. Now, this is one of the cool things about Mercedes right there. That's how you open it up, pretty neat. So if you look inside, one thing that you're gonna see here is the cargo area, plenty of room for cargo. This right here holds your charger. Remember I said this is full electric, so you do have to charge it every night. So if you come right over here, what you're gonna see, this right here plugs into your home, this plugs into your car, and it gives you all of your different settings right there that'll tell you what's charged, what's not, your air pressure on there for cold tire, air pressure, everything that you're gonna to need to travel safely down the road. Now, when you look at all this and you think about it, let's close this thing here, and, and you think about it, you look at it, very good looking, handles, gets superb mileage when you look at it. I mean, it's 200 miles for range, and you know, it could be more, but what you're asking out of this to do is plenty good for sure. So if you're interested in a full electric SUV and you wanna spend about $62,000, head on down to your neighborhood Mercedes dealer. They may have one and they're proud of them too.